Hello y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and this is definitely falling into the life and stuff part. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing as I was wearing during yesterday's time for tea because I'm actually recording them on the same day. So yes, happy belated Valentine's Day because it is no longer Valentine's Day, it's Wednesday. Mm-hmm. The magic of YouTube time travel, it's a real thing. Anyhow, we are not here to talk about YouTube time travel. We are here to talk about this. Yes, there is a plastic spoon in it because that's what I use to put it on my stuff. All right. I am doing pepper powder tastings for jpepperseeds.com. Um, I will have him linked above, below, all the places because he sells pepper seeds, isolated pepper seeds. And you know what? I'm a very, very beginner gardener. But isolation makes total sense to me because when you're growing something and you want it to be this specific thing, you don't want your plant over there that's something totally different to get mixed and mingled and have a cross that you weren't expecting when you want this and not some of that, okay? He does all the isolation. He explains how he does it. He does it in ways that are proven. That, you know, universities use it. The government uses it. It's a real thing. So check him out, please. Now, Jimmy Pickles does not sell pepper powders. Oh, no. After he's done processing and gets his seeds and has them all packed up and ready to sell, which he does sell on his website, um, he then sometimes dries some of the peppers and makes powders out of them because they're yummy. And some of them like this one are going to be hot AF. I'm just telling you. All right. I looked up some information about this first. I got my laptop next to me. That's what I'm looking at. Um, <clears throat> from jppepperseeds.com. This is Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion Capsicum Chinense. Super hot. He sells 10 of the isolated seeds for $5.49. Um, that is actually a very good price if you have not looked for seeds. Yes, some of them are a few cents cheaper, but they're not isolated. You don't necessarily know what you get. He only sells in the U.S. Sorry, guys who are overseas. But, um, and he's licensed and he's gone through all of that nonsense too. So, yeah, he's the real deal. He's a goofball. But he's the real deal. And yes, I'm kind of postponing this because when I opened this, I got a little whiff and I went, I actually went all Jed clamp it for a minute. Ooh, doggy. Yes, because I could smell the hot. I'm not a chili head, y'all. I'm not. Um, people are saying this will turn me into a chili head and I'm kind of having fun with these tastings. Now, here's what I've done. See that plate? I've got some that are just plain. These are crackers with cream cheese. These are generic, not Ritz, with cream cheese and not Philadelphia brand either because, you know, your girl's looking for a bargain all the time with various amounts of this pepper powder on it. Yeah. <clears throat> what appears to be the lightest one, which I will start with because I'm not that crazy, is this one. All right, you can see the red dusting on there. It sure is pretty. And oh, let me read you a little bit about this. <clears throat> Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion Pepper was originally developed by Jay Weaver, a pepper grower in eastern Pennsylvania. That's in the USA, y'all. It is a cross between a ghost pepper and a Trinidad scorpion. Now, he was doing a cross on purpose and then stabilized it and developed it for this. See, isolation does matter. It grows into various shapes, with some having tails like the Trinidad scorpion. Yikes. The red skin is thin and bumpy like a ghost pepper. The heat level is extremely hot, says so right there on the internet, with a fruity flavor similar to that of the ghost pepper, which I've never actually tried. <laughs> Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion Pepper ranges from 800,000 to 1.1 million Scoville heat units. Yeah. And here goes this non-chili head. Trying it out. Let's do it. Mm. When it finally starts to hit, a little bit of sharpness on the tongue. And of course, it'll start to burn down my throat some as I swallow it. Hello. Oh, and the burn builds. It starts ramping up. <clears throat> mm. And again... Pickles does not sell these powders. If you want some of these powders, grow some peppers. Y'all, he gives you tips. He gets, sends you a sheet on how to start. Do the thing. <clears throat> All right. We're going to go with a little bit more this time. 
Yeah, my mouth is still burning. Wow. And that was not that much pe pepper powder. It's watering too. Okay. Let's go with this one. <clears throat> A little bit more concentrated right in the middle. Let's see if that'll focus. Hello, focus camera. Okay, it doesn't want to focus, but this is a, this is not a ginormous cracker if you're watching this on a big TV or something. It isn't like a red-sized cracker. It's like cracker dog doom. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Number two with a little bit more on it. It's a sneaky bugger. Because when it first goes in your mouth, you're like, I don't got nothing, ma'am. Sorry, mouthful. But then it goes, hi, here we are. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Woo. Nose is starting to run a little bit. That's attractive, isn't it? It's okay. I've got my tissues here because I was kind of expecting it after I got a whip of it. Mm. All right, we're going to have some cream cheese in between. To make life a little easier, this is just plain. Because cream cheese makes the world go round, okay? And I'm still drinking my tea, and I doubt that's a good combination. <clears throat> All right. We're going in for a big mama. I mean, I am kind of a big mama, big cat mama, but... Do you see, do you see all of that pepper on there? All of that chili powder? Am I crazy? Yeah, probably. Ooh, that burn is still there, honey. Mm. All around the mouth and the gums, you get that burn. But I'm looking for my endorphin rush. Next. Mmm, mmm, got the fruitiness on that one. Yes. With that good dose of, of the powder on there, I got a blast of fruity pepper flavor. And then, of course, the heat's going to start. Well, you really have to put it on there to get that fruitiness of it. I could see that being really nice. <clears throat> Added sparingly to a rub. If you're looking to do a slow roast on some meat, on some pork, because the, if you, that little bit of heat will help cut through the richness when you're doing a roast, like like a pork roast, smoked meat. Oh, the eyes are watering, y'all. Mm. <clears throat> a little bit of just cream cheese. Mmm. Pickles puts this stuff on everything. Not necessarily this particular pepper. I saw him put one of the seven pot peppers on pancakes the other day, and I was intrigued. Pancakes, maple syrup, and chilies. Oh. My bottom teeth are burning now. What's that all about? Mmm. 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 All right. I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. I mean, a little crazier. Hello. I'm going to take some of this without the cream cheese. Not much. Okay. Plastic spoon because I don't like the taste of metal. And I'm one of those people that can taste metal in utensils. Which is why I like using chopsticks a lot. But that's not important. Let's see if I can get this to my face without spilling it. Mmm. Y'all, that's hot. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. 
My nose is running. My eyes are running. But, like they say, when you eat this stuff, you do get a bit of an endorphin rush. Wow. If I'm having a crappy day at work and just feeling down and depressed, I just need a spoonful of pepper powder. Oh. Mmm. Check out Jimmy Pickles, Pepper Seeds, jppepperseeds.com. And uh, grow some, dry some, eat some, or just eat the peppers fresh. You could do that too. I don't think I'm that brave. But now I'm going to go find some milk and some more cream cheese and see if my mouth will stop hurting by the afternoon. See you all soon. Thanks for coming by. Woo!